Something big in the game atmosphere right now is SAG-AFTRA has declared that voice actors, motion caption individuals that work in the gaming industry or even the animation industry are going on strike. You might wonder what they're going on strike about. They're going on strike about something we discussed the other day, and that is the use of AI in games and animation. Okay. Um... It's very interesting to see how this is going to play out because I'm wondering how it's going to play out. But let's get into it. Let's check these articles out and uh, let's see what they got to say about it. So before we get any further, let's talk about SAG-AFTRA because some people might be wondering what SAG-AFTRA is. Well, SAG-AFTRA is two different groups. First group being the Screen Actors Guild of America. And the other one is the American Federation of Television and Radio Artists. They combined, uh, it says here in 2012, and they are a union group for actors, voice actors, individuals that work in the industry. So, it, you know, it's a good thing because they're going to ensure that people are getting the proper pay. They're going to ensure people get the proper insurances, so on and so forth. And what's crazy is they represent 160,000 media professionals worldwide. This was the article that caught my eye from Polygon. And that is the voice actors of your favorite video game characters are going on strike. The video game performers last went on strike in 2016. Let's get into this. The Screen Actors Guild American Fe Federation of Television and Radio Artists announced Thursday that video game performers will go on strike on July 26 at 12.01 a.m. More than 2,500 video game performers, a group that includes voice actors, motion caption performers, and others, head to the picket lines after nearly two years of negotiations with major video game companies. That's two years is a long time to negotiate. It's crazy. The biggest sticking point in this negotiation is the re unrestricted use of artificial intelligence, according to a news release. Um, video game performers want protections over the use of their likenesses and voice. And I 100% agree because nowadays, I'm, pff, I don't know how many times, just go to X, formerly known as Twitter, scroll through there, and the amount of ai generated stuff whether it's biden sitting in the white you know the oval office or it's people playing a video game and they go in and they you know i've seen it where it has trump biden obama like a whole bunch of people that were ai generated talking all kinds of shit it's crazy what you could do with ai nowadays um 18 months of negotiations have shown us that our employee employers are not interested in fair uh, in fair, reasonable AI protections, but rather flagrant exploitations. SAG after an inter interactive media com committee chair and Hi Fi Rush voice actor Sarah said in a news release We refuse this paradigm. <coughs> we will not leave any of our members behind, nor will we wait for su sufficient protections any longer, which I don't blame them. You know, this this was a massive sticking point in NIL deals when it came to college players. That's why we didn't have an NCAA game for so long. Was a lot of players were like, yo, you guys are using my likeness. Why am I not getting paid? NCAA was like, yo, you're not getting paid because you're going to school, blah, 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 blah. And it, I'm going to tell you right now, that was very unfair because a lot of these kids couldn't even pay for, you know, meals. They couldn't pay for, you know, going out and, you know, watching a movie. And yet, you know, they, they, they profited off their name image likeness for them to go to college and for them to be in a video game. Now, granted, a lot of the times they did not actually use their name. They just used their likenesses and their uh, stats. Um, the group of video game companies negotiating with SAG-AFTRA include Activision, Electronic Arts, Insomniac Games, Take-Two Productions, uh, Warner Brother Games, and other video game uh, performers and others. Video game performers will stop work. Meaning, no more recording for video games when the strike begins on Friday. <coughs> Audrey Cooling, a spokesperson for the video game company uh, side of the Interactive Media Agreement, said that in a statement to Polygon that the companies are disappointed in the unions and choosing to go on strike. So close to a deal. Well, I believe it's because they're trying to skip out, the video game companies are, and save money by utilizing AI, which 100% they are. Um, here's the full statement. It says right here they have found uh, common ground on 24 out of 25 proposals, including uh, wage increases, additional safety provisions, 
Um, blah, 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 blah. But the biggest sticking point is going to be AI protections. That includes requiring consent and fair compensation to all performers working under the IMA. Um, the holdup around the AI appears to be over protections to on-camera video game performers like motion captures, according to the Washington Post. So their biggest concern not is it, it's not really the voice actor's performance. It's more over the motion caption. So that makes sense, I guess. Um, they're all saying we uh, will protect voice uh, voiceover performers, but we won't protect anybody else. Um, Duncan Crabtree, Ireland, that's a long-ass last name, told the Post last month. The bottom line is if you're a performer working for you, help create the content that's in your game, whether it's a voice content, whether it's stunt work, whether it's motion capture, all of these performers deserve to have their rights, uh, their right to have the informed consent and fair compensation for their use of their image, their likeness or voice, their performance. It's that simple, which 100% I agree with. If you're putting in the time and the energy to allow these into like these companies, like to capture your motion. And all that stuff, and especially um, people that are stunt individuals, then you should be compensated for it. Whether it's adjusting it, utilizing AI, what have you. But it definitely needs to be compensated. Throughout the strike, voice actors and other individual uh, under the interactive media agreement will still be able to work on projects that one of the several updated contracts um, that offer crucial AI protections for members. sag after said, depending on the work that's being contracted, they would last round strike in 2016. Okay, so real quick, I know the question that everybody has, Grand Theft Auto 6 is exempted from the game actor strike. So Grand Theft Auto 6 is still on track for potentially being released sometime next year. And you might say, how? Well, in this article, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? They can confirm GTA 6 is um, exempt. And that is due to the fact that uh, any game already in development before September 2023 is exempt. Well, this might bring up another question. Live service games. That's also for casting a live service games, which seemingly uh, include Fortnite, Apex Legends. However, the strike lasts more than 60 days. Ongoing performance work on those live service games, that is, uh, by sag after members would also come to a halt. So live service games are exempt up to 60 days until, like, if the strike started today, so 60 days from today, that's when everything's going to come to a halt for live service games. It's pretty interesting to see stuff like that. Let's go full screen. I want to hear y'all's thoughts on this. I think that it's like anything else. Like everybody wants their fair, sh fair share of the pie. Um, it kind of is frustrating when you see big corporations like EA, um, such as, you know, Activision Blizzard, right? That are getting these record-breaking year after year on their returns and epic games on top of that um record-breaking returns on stuff that they've put work hard work on they deserve the compensation they deserve um and ai is like i said it's one of those sticking points it's kind of interesting to see what comes of this and hopefully they get the protections that they believe they deserve to get everything moving so that everything doesn't come to a grinding halt I know earlier in the video I did misspeak. I thought it was over animation as well. Come find out this is strictly over video games. Anyways, guys, don't forget to mash that like button. Comment down below and subscribe. We're, uh, we hit our 8,000 mark, kind of surprisingly how fast we hit it yesterday. Um, now we're on our way to 10K. If we hit 10,000, I'll do a 24-hour live stream. You guys can come hang out with me. Anyways, you guys, have a great and wonderful day, and I'll catch you later.